Hello friends, this video on continuity and differentiability part 24 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 23. I told you about exponential function, but I never, never told you about logarithmic function. So let's understand what is logarithmic function. So we know that in b to the power x the exponential function and logarithmic function I told you are related. In b to the power x b is always greater than 1. Correct. So if b is a real number and b is greater than 1 and then we say log of a to the base b is x if b to the power x is a. I will tell you why. See b to the power x is equal to a then I say log of a to the base b log of a to the base b it is denoted by log of a to the base b this is x so both are same actually if i say b to the power x is equal to a or i say log of a to the base b is equal to x both are same thing please note if b is greater than 1 i say b to the power x Correct? This is my equation y is equal to b to the power x actually. y is equal to b to the power x. This is nothing but same thing I can write as log of y to the base b is equal to x. These two are same. So it's the same thing I took a log and I got this. So generally b to the power x is equal to a let's suppose then I say that log of a to the base b is equal to x. So here also try to understand how it is. If I say log of a to the power b is equal to x this is nothing but this guy is equal to you take this guy here b and this guy you put little up b to the power x. This is how it is. I'll do once again. You say log a to the base b is equal to x. This is nothing but you take a here is equal to you take this guy b here and put x little bit up. So you put b here, b comes here, and x you put little bit up. You get this a is equal to b to the power x. That's a way to remember. So if you have a is equal to b to the power x, you can say that now in this case again you want to uh, put this way log a is nothing but. x because log a to the base p is nothing but x. I'll explain. We'll do some more questions on logs then you'll be a little more comfortable since the first time you are being introduced to logs so you may find it difficult to understand but the trick here is if b to the power x is equal to a or if this guy is equal to log of a to the base b is equal to x then a is nothing but b to the power x. Correct? Try to remember this guy. It's a little easy to understand log of a to the base b is equal to x then a is nothing but b to the power x and we have this graph so this is all haphazard now for log we have the graph like this it goes uh, if, you, if you take from negative number it goes from here to here this is the this is my y is equal to e to the power x graph and the log is just mirror image of this this is my log graph. So log and exponentials are related. This guy, the guy in the red is my exponential graph, right? Sorry, it's not done properly. And this guy is my log graph. Now we'll discuss some properties of logs. Before that, we can take some examples here. 2 to the power 4 is equal to 16. We can write this guy as nothing but log 16 to the base 2 is equal to 4. Same thing, 16 you write here is equal to you put 2 here and put this 4 up and this is what one more example 10 to the power 3 is equal to 1000 we can write this guy as this how you take this guy up and 3 little more up so you get 1000 this guy is nothing but you put 10 here 10 to the power 3 correct that's how we write so 10 to the power 1000 to the power 3 also we can write as log of 1000 to the best 10 is 3. So we'll take some properties of log function. So 
So before that, we have two kind of log function, common log function and natural log function. So same thing here in common log function, we have to the base 10 and in natural log function, we have to the base 8. This guy is only using the maths world and this guy is only using the physics. Now the question comes to your mind, you must be wondering why this particular E? What is so special about this E? Why no other letter? Why not alpha, beta, gamma? Why this E only? What is the value of this E? So this is where we go. Why E? Why E? And E is called Euler's or Napier's constant. So E is used for national laws because as I told, log is generally used to ease the calculation. So if you have huge number, for example, I have this uh, put money in the bank and uh, the money was let's suppose oh, some A and the rate was some 10% and you are putting it for let's suppose 50 years. So you get this kind of value A into 1.1 to the power 50, right? So finding this value is difficult, it's really difficult actually. So what we do, we use then log here and then we find the values. Then we can write the whole thing in the terms of log. Let's suppose this girl do, let's suppose A or let's suppose this girl do uh, final, final money, FM or TM, total money. Same thing I can write in this fashion, log TM correct to the base 1.1 so if I have a table if I know to find this I can get this so what is done was in such case this guy in John Napier he invented a table in 1614 and that table he took this guy as E because his calculations most of the case was E to the power some value he was supposed to find e to the power, let's suppose 1000 e to the power 900, such kind of calculation he used to do in physics because he's a physicist. And thus, to make his life simple, he devised a table to the base E. And with that, he was very, uh, it was very easy for him to calculate such data. For example, if I have e to the power all the tables and I have to find, let's suppose, e to the power 900. Let's suppose this is k now. So what I can write this as nothing but log k the bar base e is equal to 900. So if I have a table where I can see this value, with this value I can find the value of k, my life is simple. Correct? And that's why this guy did John Napier when he invented this table, log table in 1614. That time he invented with the base e. He didn't know, he was not aware that e will become so popular. He did so because that's what his requirement was. Because he was calculating most of the time e to the power 900, e to the power 800, that's kind of values he was calculating in terms of physics because in physics e plays a critical role. And that's why he invented a table with the base e. So this was the first step. This was not the only reason why e became popular. This is one of the reasons why e became popular. And then more and more science and engineering grew and more practical use of e came into it. So, E was more in demand and more and more calculation based on E came into picture, E to the power 1000, E to the power 1200, this kind of calculations. And to ease these things, we generally use the log table with base. Also, with E, there are so many properties. If you have log 1 plus y to the base E and y is really small, this is almost equal to y. And this kind of formula is very helpful in terms of physics. In the world of physics, this kind of formulas are very much, very much helpful. Plus, this guy found that if you have this graph of y is equal to 1 by x or x y is equal to 1, you take this graph, you start from 1 and you end to e. You find this area, this area is 1. And this has a good application in terms of mass. That is, you integrate this, you don't know integration, so you can forget this. Integration I told you is right finding the area so you have this big area you have this curve you know convert this into small small area and you add this and that's what they are doing here so 1 by x dx you integrate this from 1 to e 
you get one. So that is one reason where E came into picture. So what I'm telling is how E became popular. So E was nowhere. E became a star. The first time this happened was since E was used heavily in terms of physics, this guy created log table where he used E as the base. That was the first stage. He became star. E became star. And then more and more science and engineering uh, advanced and more application of E came. And there's so many formulas that were used in the maths, maths uh, and physics world which had log to the base E, plays a special role. Plus in the world of maths, they found that if in this case, if it is integrated from 1 to E, you take this area, this becomes 1. So these are the reasons why E became a star. And then we had a special category called natural algorithm to the base E. So some of the properties of E now e is irrational number. And the value of E is nothing but you say 1 plus 1 by h to the power x extends to infinity, you get the value of E that is 2.718. Or you say 1 plus h to the power 1 by x limit extends to 3, you still get the same value of E that is 2.718 dash dash dash. Or you can also find the value of E as 1 by n factorial where summation of 1 by n factorial n start from 0 to infinity. Also, e to the power i theta is equal to cos theta plus i sin theta. So this was also one reason why we e became a star actually. Because, so let's repeat. So we have this uh, John Napier who created a table to make his life simple and that was with the base e. And then we found that uh, the math and engineering grew, more practical use of e. And then we have some formulas where we have log e used is used extensively. We have so many other formulas where you use e to the power i theta is equal to cos theta plus i sin theta. So with these, the e became more popular and then we got this special status for natural logarithm that is log to the base e. And that is called ln. When you say ln, it is nothing but natural log to the base e. So let's observe some properties of log function. The first thing is we cannot make a meaningful definition of log on a non-positive numbers and hence the domain is always positive. So this, if you see this guy, the x is never negative. So x is always positive. So we do, when you say log of minus 10, it doesn't make any sense. So it, it's always positive. The range is set of all real numbers. So you can get the value, the output that y is can be any real number. So when you say y is equal to log x, my x has to be always positive and y can be any real. Just reverse of the exponential function where there we have x was any real number and y was positive. So this is just the reverse because you see this guy is y is equal to e to the power x here. Uh, my x can take any value but y is always positive. Here it's other way around. My y can take any value but x is always positive. Here there was 0 comma 1 in y is equal to e to the power x. Here it is 1 comma 0. 1 comma 0 is always part of the graph and the log is always increasing. In this case also it is always increasing. The moment you go from left to right the value increase. Here also it's increased. Here also it increased. For x is near to 0. For x is near to 0 this is infinite is infinite and the two curves y is equal to e to the power x and this guy is exponential and the log curve they are mirror images of each other on the line y is equal to x. If you take y is equal to x these two slopes are mirror image. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, Study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.